The replication cycle of HIV-1 involves a series of processes which require the critical functions of various proteins. These include HIV envelope proteins and host entry proteins, and HIV enzymes, reverse transcriptase, integrase, and protease. Treatment strategies focus on inhibiting such proteins, and antiretroviral drugs are classified according to the specific functions they suppress. First, the viral envelope protein, GP120, binds to the entry proteins on the host cell surface, such as CD4 and CCR5. The viral fusion protein, GP41, undergoes a conformational change as a result, allowing the virus to enter the host cell. Entry inhibitors may target host cell membrane proteins or viral fusion proteins for stalling this process. Successful entry of the virus particle results in the release of HIV genomic RNA and HIV enzymes, reverse transcriptase, integrase, and protease into the host cell. The viral reverse transcriptase, which includes DNA polymerase and ribonuclease H domains, acts on single-stranded viral genomic RNA. It reverse transcribes viral RNA to double-stranded DNA. Reverse transcriptase is targeted by two classes of drugs. Nucleoside reverse transcriptase inhibitors become incorporated into elongating DNA strands as competitive substrates for DNA polymerase, resulting in chain termination. Non-nucleoside reverse transcriptase inhibitors bind to a hydrophobic pocket in the reverse transcriptase structure, changing the conformation of the active site and inhibiting polymerase activity. HIV integrase then catalyzes the three prime processing of viral DNA. It subsequently carries out the strand transfer of processed viral DNA into host DNA. Most integrase inhibitors currently in clinical development target the strand transfer process. Finally, viral polyproteins synthesized within the host cell must be cleaved by protease, forming core proteins that comprise the nucleocapsid proteins and viral enzymes for the new virus particle. This activity, which is crucial to the formation of infectious viral particles, may be disabled by protease inhibitors. Current treatment of AIDS involves administering a combination of multiple drugs with at least two different mechanisms of action. This approach is known as highly active antiretroviral therapy, or HART. Expanding the drug repertoire for improved heart treatment with inhibitors against novel targets in the HIV replication cycle remains a challenge in HIV-AIDS management. <laughs>